Shalom. We are the ICPK coming out of 1 West, 125th Street in Harlem, New York, under Commander General Yohanna. My name is Officer Hamakwaba, and I would like to welcome you to the ISUPK Louisville class. And today's topic is going to be the Most High Hates Whites, <laughs> according to the Bible. See, I had to title it like that because, you know, it's going to be a lot of haters out there try to get the video, you know what I'm saying, flagged down, put down. So we just said like that, the most high hates whites. According to the Bible, that's the thing about it. See, here's the thing. A lot of people see the ISUPK out there on the streets talking about God hates the white man. They think that that is our opinion, but it's in the Bible. It's right here in the King James version of your holy Bible. According to the scriptures, the Most High hates white people. First of all, we're going to establish who they are, according to the Bible. And then we're going to show you that the Most High hates them. So what I would like to do is to go to the book of Genesis, chapter 20, chapter 25 and verse 25. If you got a Bible, go to the book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 25. And what I'm going to do here first is give you the backdrop to what's going on in this verse. See, the progenitors of our nation, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the middle son, Isaac, his wife was pregnant with twins. She had two babies in the womb. And this in the Bible is going to describe what happened, you know, during the birth. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Now, we look on the earth today. Who's red and hairy? Who is red and hairy? The goddamn so-called white man is red and hairy. You understand me? Like I always say, if you deny a white man a Gillette razor for a week, he'll look like a goddamn baboon. You understand me? So this scripture right here is describing the so-called white man. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. See, this is the biblical name of the progenitor of all white people, so-called white people on the earth today, Esau. Yes, he did come from Isaac, but here's the thing. He did not receive the covenant that went to his brother Jacob. You see what I'm saying? Who are uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians today? So here's the thing. We have established that the so-called white man on the earth today is Esau, who became the nation of Edom. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you, you know what I'm saying, get out of that Christian mindset and you read the Bible again, you will keep hearing about this nation, Edom, about how, you know, God hates Edom. He's going to destroy Edom. Why is that? Because look at the earth today. Who is destroying the earth? What, you know, saying toxins, you know, poisonous food, killing people. It's the so-called white man who is the nation of Edom. You understand me? See, the thing is, is you coming from a Christian mindset. You believe that God loves everybody. And it's just a matter of, you know what I'm saying, people battling sin. That's a goddamn lie. You'd have been gassed up by that Christian church, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring it out today in these scriptures. You understand me? Because, see... The men of the ISUPK under commanding General Yohanna, it is our job to raise up this nation and teach the truth of the Bible. Not like your goddamn slimy Christian pastor, you know what I'm saying, trying to gas you up and get your money. You understand me? We bring the truth and we bring it hard. You understand me? So I want to bring that scripture out to establish we're making a case here. You know what I'm saying? Just like a lawyer, we're making a case about who the white man is and what the Bible says, you know what I'm saying? About how the most high feels about them. Because there's a lot of different religions and 
sects and denominations within that Christian religion that will say, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jesus, God loves everybody. He brought everybody together. And we're going to disprove the lies today. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all would excuse me for one moment, you know what I'm saying? Your boy's going to pour a nice relaxing drink. You feel me? You know what I mean? Because uh, I want to get a little loose for this. You see what I'm saying? The white man's the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know what I'm saying? If you ever feel down, just say that about 20 times a day. And you know what I'm saying? You'll perk right up. Don't worry about that. You know what I'm saying? It's for grown folks. So here's the thing. We're going to bring it out in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. If you got a King James version of the Bible, go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. I'm, I'm using my phone right now to get the scriptures. It's the same version that's right here. The King James, the 1611 version of the Bible, King James version of the Bible. Okay, so I'm going to bring out this scripture. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people, holy. What does the word holy mean? It's not, you know what I'm saying, some person with some wings like an angel like you see in a Christian church. Holy means separate. You see what I'm saying? That's If you go into the, the Bible dictionary and you really look into the words, do an um, etymology word search, you will understand that the word holy means separate. You see what I'm saying? Thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Salakia. For thou art in holy people unto the most high power. The most high thy power have chosen thee to be a special people. Okay. This right here, a lot of people just, you know what I'm saying, gloss over what this say. Have chosen thee. See, when somebody's chosen, that means somebody isn't. You see what I'm saying? So blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians on the earth today, even though it's rough, even though you look at life and you say, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't feel like my life is worth anything. According to the scriptures, the Most High has chosen you. Now let's see what he chose you for. Chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Man, what a privilege. The Most High chose Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to be a special people unto himself. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's something to, that's something to be happy about. See, that's the whole commission that um, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you know what I'm saying? He tasked, you know what I'm saying, the, the um, priests and prophets to do, who are the men of the ISUPK today. To give the good news that, hey, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are a chosen people. You know what I'm saying? You are not just a, a, a nigga or a spick or an engine. Man, you are chosen people unto the most high. And with that, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's things that we have to do to honor that. You see what I'm saying? Let me finish out this scripture. Chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Oh, wow. That's a powerful, powerful, you know what I'm saying, scripture right there. Above all people. Above all people. So you, you know what I'm saying, Christians in the church, you know what I'm saying, where you sit there and say we all equal and you believe in, uh, you know what I'm saying, the American dream and Dr. Martin Luther King's dream that uh, we all are supposed to come together. The Most High does not agree with your ideology. You know what I'm saying? According to his scriptures, it says that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are a chosen people, a special people. 
above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, who are all people? Who else is outside of blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians? Who was that? You would have um, the nation of Edom, you know, your so-called white man. You're um, the nation of Elam. There are the so-called East Indians, uh, Japanese people who are the so-called um, Ammonites in the Bible, Chinese people who are the so-called Moabites in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? All these goddamn heathens. You know what I'm saying? Out of all them, the Most High chose us, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to be, you know what I'm saying, a special people unto himself. You see what I'm saying? All these other people he hates. The Most High hates the goddamn white man, and he hates a goddamn Chinese man. You see what I'm saying? And the men of the ISUPK are the only, and I mean the only, you know what I'm saying, men on the earth to tell, you know what I'm saying, our people that. You gonna see a dude running around in a dusty purple shirt or, or something like that, you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll give you a little bit of the uh, uh, of truth, but it's gonna be tainted. You see what I'm saying? When you get to the end of that thing, you know what I'm saying, he's gonna wanna include the white man. Or, you know what I'm saying, a Chinese man or somebody like that. No, we are a holy people. You know what I'm saying? And Commander General Yohana has tasked, you know what I'm saying, his um, soldiers, the priests and prophets of the ISUPK, to, you know what I'm saying, spread this word, to spread this gospel, the good news. That's the good news. You know what I'm saying? Not that you're supposed to join hands and we shall overcome and all that old bull like that. You know what I'm saying? Black folk been marching, you know what I'm saying, for, for 50 years. You know what I'm saying? They've been marching so long, their shoes are overran. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know how shoes get all bent up and all you know, messed up and holes at the bottom? We done been marching too goddamn much. It's time for action. You understand me? And the men of the ISUPK under commanding General Yohanna, we're about, you know what I'm saying, we're about that action. We're about that warfare. You know what I'm saying? And not, not in a physical sense, although we can take it there. But it's about spiritual warfare. You understand me? It's about, you know, casting down imaginations. Imaginations, you know what I'm saying, from the Christian church, from the Muslim mosque. You see what I'm saying? And uh, Santa Maya, whatever the hell, all these other different uh, 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 religions and uh, superstitions that blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians subscribe to. Not here in the ISUPK. You know what I'm saying? We the home of the truth. We're going to bring out in these scriptures that the Most High hates these goddamn heathens. And he he hates, you know what I'm saying? He hates the white man. You feel what I'm saying? Because, see, here's the thing. Is the Most High unjust for doing that? We're going to find out. But, you know what I'm saying, just to validate a little bit more that blacks, Hispanics, and native, you know what I'm saying, Indians are holy, let's go into another scripture. Let's go in the book in the Apocrypha, the 1611 King James Version of the Bible. Now, here's the Apocrypha, if you haven't seen it. This little red book here, you can get it at, at different places. Go to a bookstore or go online. This was included in the original 1611 King James Version of the Bible. Now, if you don't believe that, you can go to Wikipedia and you can look up George Washington inaugural Bible, and it'll have a rundown of how U.S. presidents, even after him, have used that Bible, and they, you know, they swear in on it. You see what I'm saying? They swear in on this Bible, but for some strange reason, the Christian Church does not validate this book as being um, the Holy Scriptures, and that's bull. You know what I'm saying? The men of the ISUPK are here to let our people know the truth. You know what I'm saying? They took this book out, this portion, you know what I'm saying, of the Bible out because it explains a lot of how uh, uh, our history that was lost, our heritage that was lost. See, the northern kingdom, when they came out of captivity, when they broke off from the southern kingdom, see, they came over to this land, these uh, North and South America. This place was called Arsereth. You see what I'm saying? And these are the records that explain how they got over here. Not uh, the theory of Christopher Columbus and all that bull coming across the Barren Strait. That's bull, man. The men of the ISUPK are here to dismantle and demolish all the lies. You see what I'm saying? So let me go here in the 
Salakia, the Apocrypha, and that's going to be the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6. And we'll start at verse 54. You understand me? Let me get another sip. Nice, relaxing beverage. You understand? Cheers, Negro. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Relax and enjoy the class. You feel me? All right. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Okay, most Christians and most people that you know, seen a, a biblical story or read the Bible, they understand who Adam is. Of him come we all. Of him come we all. And that is to include, you know what I'm saying, so-called uh, white people, uh, Africans who are Hamites, uh, Chinese people, you know, Hawaiians, East Indian people. Of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So, all, you know what I'm saying, all throughout the Bible, the Most High has a chosen people. And who is that? It's blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians today. You see what I'm saying? When you choose something, that's just like, I got, lock you, I got two beverages here. If I choose one, that means I, don't choose the other. You see what I'm saying? When you choose something, that means, you know what I'm saying, you possess it. You know, you possess it because it's something that's important to you. You don't really care about the other thing that you did not choose. Simple as that. And the Most High's word is telling that he has a chosen people. And we brought that, Salaki, we brought that out earlier that that is... Um, that is the you know, nation of Israel, who are blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians today. Not the so-called Jewish man. I always tell y'all about, look at that word, Jewish. Okay, look at the word. Ish is a suffix. You see what I'm saying? Like a, like a boyish, right? Like a tomboy. Okay, you're not really a boy. You just have boyish ways. Same thing with this so-called Jewish man. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? When we went into captivity, he got a hold of our holy scriptures and took on our culture. The, the white man is a culture vulture. He's a culture bandit. You see what I'm saying? He is not the chosen people of the most high. Them damn, you know what I'm saying? Uh, black people in the ghettos, in the hood. You know, Hispanic people in the barrio. You know what I'm saying? The... Uh, Native Americans, the Slocky, the Native Indians on the reservations, on the reds. Those are the people that are chosen. Now, we got to understand that, uh, you know what I'm saying, why are we in this condition? Because we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. See, being a chosen nation, a holy nation unto the Slocky, unto the Most High, comes with responsibilities. The Most High only gave blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians these laws, statutes, and commandments. Why do you think that you can see Edomites, you know what I'm saying, at a gay pride parade and just, you know what I'm saying, doing all kind of abominable, lustful, nasty things and they don't get struck with light? And I used to wonder about that. I'm like, that Lord, you know what I'm saying, that's horrible. You know, and this is when I was coming from a different mindset. And I understand now that's because they wasn't given, you know what I'm saying, the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Being this chosen nation, we are supposed to, you know, you know, lead by example. We're supposed to be living these laws, statutes, and commandments. That way, these goddamn heathens, you know what I'm saying, can, you know, follow and live accordingly. Not, you know what I'm saying, being like a boy by chopping off um, dog paws and, and putting them in your goddamn wonton soup. You see what I'm saying? We not to do that. So let me get in this scripture. I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee. This is the prophet Ezra. 
O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Man, that's heavy right here. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, leading in the kingdom. And the thing is, we will be soon. You know what I'm saying? Because Commander General Yohana, you know what I'm saying, is raising up, you know what I'm saying, his priests and prophets, you know what I'm saying, under, under um, Yahweh Shah to raise up the nation of Israel. And we will be, you know what I'm saying, in Yahweh Shah's kingdom, you know what I'm saying, ruling and reigning. You see what I'm saying? As for the other people, now here we go. The other people, all people on the earth outside of blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Man, you ain't nothing. You ever heard somebody say that to somebody? You ain't nothing. What that mean? You see what I'm saying? That mean you ain't nothing. That's how the most high thinks of these goddamn heathens, man. And in the Christian church, you know what I'm saying, they always trying to go and save, you know what I'm saying, the white man. Whites. You see what I'm saying? The white man don't need saving. He's downtown here in Louisville eating a goddamn steak dinner right now in an expensive restaurant. What the hell he needs saving from? Shoot. Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to pour me another relaxing drink. You know what I'm saying? White man's the devil that the Bible speak of. You understand me? And the men of the ISUPK are the only men that's hard enough, you know what I'm saying? To tell them that. You feel me? Not, not, not one of these fake Israelite groups. You see what I'm saying? And damn sure not the Christian church. They're going to tell you to, you know what I'm saying, turn the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? Somebody slap you in the other cheek and you're supposed to give them your other and let them steal you in your other, you know what I'm saying, your jaw. Nah, not the ISUPK. We're all about that warfare, man. You understand me? We're all about, you know what I'm saying, bringing out these scriptures, that spiritual warfare, to smash the ideologies and bring down, cast down the imaginations in our people's mind, man. You know what I'm saying? And you might be watching this tele, you know what I'm saying, Slocky. I'm talking like I'm on TV or something. You know what I'm saying? You might be watching this stream. You feel what I'm saying? And you want to get involved with the army of the Lord. This is what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Put your money where your mouth is. And we ain't going to be e-bagging and stuff like the Christian church and all that. But you can give a donation, man. Support your soldiers. Can you imagine the United States military, you know what I'm saying, not um, using resources of the people of that nation to fund, you know, the soldiers to be able to protect and do the bidding of the government? Same thing. Here in the ISUPK and the commanding general Yohanna, we are a nation and we need the support of the people in our nation. I mean, we enjoy the thumbs up and all that stuff like that. That's cool. But you can go to www.isupk.com, www.isupk.com, and you can find that PayPal link, man. Take a credit card or whatever and, you know, send, send in what you can, man. You know, if you only got the two mics like the, you know, the, uh, the widow, whatever in the Bible, man, send in the two mics. You got a dollar or two, you know what I'm saying? If you got more, and especially that's somebody out there, you know what I'm saying, that's a, a, a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come across this goddamn uh, stream. You an athlete probably, you know what I'm saying? And, and the white man be controlling all. You got you got some goddamn, uh, um, you know, um, handler <laughs> that's controlling all your goddamn money. You see what I'm saying? You need to give that to Commander General Yohanna and the ISUPK to help build up your nation, man. Do something uh, good for once in your goddamn life. You know what I'm saying? Other than dribble a basketball. You know what I'm saying? You you can only spend so much goddamn money in your lifetime. You say you love black people, right? You love black people? Well, prove it. Go to that website, man. I'm off it. Back on topic, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Most High hates whites. Look here, man. And I'm gonna I'm 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 get onto a, a a macro scale for a minute. That's just like this summit with the president, with uh, the so-called president of this uh, Babylon, uh, Trump. Right? He done met with uh, you know the leader of North Korea. You think that uh, they really gonna come to some type of peace terms? Come on, man. The scriptures say that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The uh, 
the serpent was the most subtle beast of the field. Now, the serpent represents the so-called nation of Edom or Esau today. He was the most subtle beast of the field. But it don't say that he was the only subtle beast of the field. The mother goddamn heathens are subtle too. You see what I'm saying? They going to, you know what I'm saying? They going to uh, turn on each other. It's prophesied in the Holy Scriptures. You think everybody's going to get along? It's just going to be this peace treaty? And, you know, that's just like, a, a, um, you know what I'm saying? You got two gang bangers, right? And they got guns. And one say, man, I ain't going to shoot my guns no more. But the thing is, is, man, you got to give me yours. Just, you know what I'm saying? You got to give me all your guns and your AK and your, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, all your, your shotgun and all that stuff. And, and, and then I just, I won't shoot you no more. Come on, man. Well, let's say, hell no, I ain't about to give up my uh, shotgun. You give up your shotgun. They might have said some stuff, but it ain't going to go down like that. And this, that's the thing about it. That's why the most high hates these people, man. These are dishonorable people. You understand me? And the leader of the pack is the goddamn white man. You understand? Let me get back on, on topic, though. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6. We'll get back on topic right here, verse on uh, Salaki 56. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle. Now, what is spittle? It's, it's spit. That's just like, you know what I'm saying, you watch a sports game and you see the coach out there and he's, all right, come on, come on, you guys, let's go. And he tug up his pants and he spits, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know that sounds a little nasty or whatever, but I'm just giving an example. He don't care about that spit, that spit gone. That's what the Holy Scriptures are saying that the Most High thinks about these goddamn heathens, man. They are like spit to him. You see what I'm saying? And the Christian church will have you thinking that uh, God loves them. Send your money to some pot belly African over there. You know what I'm saying? With flies and, you know what I'm saying? Them people are disgusting, man. You know, I used to wonder about that, you know, because, you know, Israel is nationally, is, is compassionate. You see what I'm saying? And we wonder about things. But when you read these scriptures, you understand that them goddamn Hamites treated the nation of Israel like crap, man. They treated us so bad, our ancestors. You see what I'm saying? And now they paying, the Most High is making them pay for all the atrocities that um, they caused the black people. Because, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, they was like the white man today. You see what I'm saying? They had us you know, in bondage in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? You read that book of Exodus. You see what I'm saying? And you see how, you know, those Egyptians who are, are Hamites, we are different from people from them. How they treated Hebrews. You see what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons why the Most High hates, you know what I'm saying, these heathens. And the ringleader is the goddamn whites on the earth today. You understand me? Hey, I, I'm, I'm just reading the scriptures. So don't get mad at me. You might put a comment in there, but it's irrelevant. You see what I'm saying? I always say, you know what I'm saying, you try to box with the Most High, but your arms is too short. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? The Most High's word is like a double, you know what I'm saying, a two-edged sword. Paraphrasing, you can't come up against that. And the men of the ISUPK under Commander General Yohanna, we are the only men that's authorized on planet Earth to teach the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? The truth of the scriptures. Now, there's a lot of people out there that got the book. They got the precepts, but they don't got the spirit to teach the precepts properly to the people. And that's why, you know what I'm saying, it's important for you to come into this body of Christ, man, one body and one spirit. You're not going to get that in the Christian church. Come out of that Christian church and get into the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohanna. You know what I'm saying? You go to the website, www.isupk.com. We also have online classes on YouTube. You can go to uh, just um, search ISUPK. We're in many cities. I'm starting a uh, Salaki. I'm um, under Officer Tarak helping start the school here in Louisville, Kentucky. Salaki. We are sprawling all out here in the United States. 
and across the globe. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to stop this truth. The word is going to go forth. You understand me? And we have to let our people know who are blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, who their enemy is and who the most high, you know what I'm saying? Hates. He hates whites. You feel what I'm saying? And we're going to bring out some powerful, strong scriptures. I, I'm establishing, you know what I'm saying, that there's a separation here. Why is there a separation? That's the thing. Why? Let me go back into the scripture. But be like unto spittle, talk about the spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay, that's just like I got my drink right here, right? And I walk over here and I spill a little bit. You know, it's not like I'm going, you know what I'm saying, go get a, 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 a rag or something and try to dab up the, the little drop. I'm still cool with it. You know what I'm saying? I still got something in my cup. And that's how the Most High thinks about these heathens, man, to include your beloved goddamn white man. You know what I'm saying? They just like that drop. He ain't worried about it like that. You feel what I'm saying? From our perspective, we wonder, well, well, if that's the case, why is life so hard? Well, why the hell is it so hard for you to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High? You know what I'm saying? And get into this one body here in the ISUPK. Why is that so hard? You see what I'm saying? You asking questions, but here's the thing. Do you want the answer to those questions? Why is that so hard, right? You know what I'm saying? So we bring it out the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? It's been here all along, right underneath our noses. So I think I'm done on that one. No, no, actually, let me let me go ahead and finish this. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse fifty-seven. Now, O power, behold, these heathen. Okay, the heathen again. These heathen. Now, this is going to be a reason why you know what I'm saying the Most High hates whites and these goddamn uh, heathens, man. You see what I'm saying? Which have ever been reputed. Now, what does that word reputed mean? Like a reputation. You know what I'm saying? You got a reputation of being a goddamn thug or a hoe or something. You know what I'm saying? Or, or a gang banger. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. Damn. Once again, nothing. It's in the scriptures. If you don't believe me, I would like for you to Google, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the scripture, second address, chapter six and verse 57, or look in your King James version of the Bible or the Apocrypha, because most people don't have this book, you know what I'm saying? So that's why you can Google it. It's in there. And that's the first thing a Christian want to do is to discredit this book because it's going to say something that um, they don't agree with. I've seen this brother, he posted something <laughs> online that was kind of funny. It said the uh, sugar-coated version of the Bible. And it was like a picture and it was encrusted in sugar and stuff like that. And that's what a lot of people want, you know, because they don't want all the, uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying all the the hardcore scriptures, you know, what I'm saying the warfare, you know, what I'm saying how King David, and King Saul went to war, you know, what I'm saying with these goddamn heathens, ma. Shoot. The most high is all about that warfare. Matter of fact, in the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse three, it says that the most it says that the most high is a man of war. Paraphrasing. You see what I'm saying? If I'm not mistaken, that's the scripture. See, we're about this warfare. Now, it's not about like a fiscal war. You know what I'm saying? Even though we can get down like that, but it's about spiritual warfare. You know what I'm saying? Bringing out these scriptures and casting down imaginations. You understand me? And one imagination that is a major, major stronghold, like the Christian church say, is, you know what I'm saying, us coming together with these white folks, man. I mean, how, why would you want to come together? Why would you want your children to come together with um, somebody that's shooting up a goddamn high school? Somebody that will shoot you in Waffle House. Somebody that will kick you out of Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that will shoot, you know what I'm saying, you if you're at a country music concert. Somebody that will shoot you in a church. You want to come together with them? The Most High's word knew what was good for us. He told us to separate from these goddamn people, man. So stop 
hanging with these goddamn heathens, ma. Getting caught out there slipping. You see what I'm saying? And this is especially important for a lot of you black women out, out there because you're out there gadding abroad in liberty. You know what I'm saying? Because you, of this social construct, because the white man, the goddamn devil, then gave you your little trinkets in society. You know what I'm saying? Gave you the ability to get a degree and a, your so-called purpose and place in his society. You think, okay, I'm going to just go out and party and have a good time. You're, you're not about building your nation. That's why you need to be in this ISUPK under Commander General Yohanna. You understand me? We are building a nation and we teach black women real sisterhood. Not like the Christian church. There ain't nothing but a bunch of evil black women in the Christian church. I brought that out in the class before. You see what I'm saying? You out there slipping. And that's why a lot of stuff bad is going wrong for y'all. You need to be under the, sub the submission of a man, a strong black, Hispanic, or native Indian man. You understand me? And a lot of y'all don't want to do that because just like in the Garden of Eden, the goddamn serpent gassed up Eve and told her, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to be, I'm paraphrasing. If you read, if you read that story, you know where I'm going with it. You, you don't need to be with your man. I got something for you. You can have, you can be as a God. <laughs> I'm getting dramatic here, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how the white man comes nowadays to our sisters. You know what I'm saying? He'll be like, well, you can get a degree. You can get your education. Man, black folks been chasing education for goddamn I don't know how many years. And we still in the same predicament we was, you know what I'm saying, uh, way back in the 60s. Now, you might say, no, we wasn't. We ain't getting uh, dogs. And so, yes, we are. <laughs> you should see a lot of brothers getting beat. Uh, uh, beaten by police and uh, sprayed, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with fire hoses and beat up by police and, you know what I'm saying, they doing the same thing, it's just in a different way and you can't see it, you see what I'm saying, that's, the, that's just like, a lot of people are like the ostrich, they, the ostrich, you know what I'm saying, hold up, I'm going to use an illustration, the ostrich, you know what I'm saying, don't want to see what the hell's going on, they want to they want to stick their damn head in the ground and they don't want to see what's going on. And that's what a lot of, you know what I'm saying, our women, black women, Hispanics, and Native Indian women are doing. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, they put their head down and, you know what I'm saying, they can't see the oppression. Only when it pertains to, you know, they baby got hurt. They Then when their children get hurt, then it's a problem. Then they won't, well, where's all the black men at? Where, where's, you know what I'm saying, the Latino men at? You see what I'm saying? All the uh, Indian men at. Why didn't y'all protect us? We are going to protect you, but you got to come into this ISUPK to learn how to be protected. You understand me? You out there on your own, you driving. It's, it's, it just amazes me. And I'm going off topic a minute, you know what I'm saying? But, but I'm trying to make a point why the most high hates us. You see what I'm saying? It's because, you know what I'm saying? Our women have been turned, you know, have slakia, have turned against the men of their nation. You see what I'm saying? According to the scriptures in Deuteronomy 7 and verse 3, we were supposed to, you know, marry and stay together as a unit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a black Hispanic Native Indian um, man is supposed to be with a black Hispanic Native Indian woman. We weren't supposed to have the liberty to go off and marry these other uh, uh, nations, you know what I'm saying, which uh, the contemporary uh, language in America says date, you know, I'm dating, I'm dating. Let me tell you something, man. If you have sex with a woman, that's your woman, man. You feel what I'm saying? You, That's your woman for life. And, and, and the thing is, women, you need to understand that too. You see what I'm saying? You can't just be... You know, laying around. I know the feminist movement and told you, you know what I'm saying? You you have sexual freedom and liberty and stuff like that. And that's the one reason why the most high hates these goddamn people, man. Huh? It's because, you know, he done gassed you up and he done told you to do the opposite of everything that the holy scriptures say to do. You don't think that they took these holy scriptures and read them and said, you know what? We're going to devise a plan. And instead of have them do everything that they're supposed to do. We're going to set up a system to make them do the opposite. That way they will, their, their, their um, God won't help them. 
And there's even scriptures to validate what I just said. I'm not going to pull it for the uh, time's sake. But you see what I'm saying? They got into our scriptures and, you know what I'm saying? They set up this whole construct in society to make you sin against the most high if you black, Hispanic, and native Indian. But here's the thing. The most high has raised up his prophets under commanding General Yohanna, the men of the ISUPK, and only the men of the ISUPK. You see what I'm saying? Are bringing the truth. You see what I'm saying? The truth about these scriptures. We are to live by them. They are life, man. You see what I'm saying? We are in a captivity, but here's the thing. If we live by these laws, statutes, and commandments, we can lessen the burden. You know what I'm saying? Even Yahweh Shah said that. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but he said that, you know, his burden is, his yoke is light. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. That's these words, man. You understand me? That's these words. And we got to do them. You know what I'm saying? You got high blood pressure and all these other ailments, but you keep eating pork. You understand me? Shrimp, crab, and lobster. You don't know the dietary laws in Leviticus. And that's why we're here. The most high, you know what I'm saying, will give you a commercial on television that says pork. The other white man. You know what I'm saying? And you go out there, 4th of July, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> what's up? You know what I'm saying? You barbecue and you know what I'm saying? Slathering that pork, pork chop and rib, you know what I'm saying? And you think you have having a good time in this goddamn place. While the most high thinks that's a goddamn abomination, man. There's plenty of clean, lawful, good meats that you can eat, man. You feel me? And the only way you gonna know that is by, you know what I'm saying, learning from the men of the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana. You see what I'm saying? But I'm 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 yeah. let me let me go into these scriptures because the thing is I could go on all damn night about how the hell um reasons behind why the Most High hates them. You see what I'm saying? He hates them. And we in the ISUPK follows the laws, statutes, and commandments, so we hate them too, God damn it. You understand me? So, I would like to bring out the book of Romans. This is for all you Christians, you New Testament people. I'm going to bring out the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. If you got a Bible, go ahead and uh, get to the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. Because earlier in this class, I told you we established who Esau was, who he is on the earth today. You understand me? Now, there's plenty of literature out there, even written by his own people, to validate <laughs> what we're saying. Uh, actually, what we say that's in the Bible. See, he knows you don't. You know what I'm saying? We in the ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, we study the scriptures. We study uh, things from a historical standpoint, an archaeological standpoint, current events, and also biblical, which is the most important. It, it pretty much substantiates all the other areas that we study to validate, you know what I'm saying, what we're bringing out. The name of this class is the Most High hates whites. You see what I'm saying? That that, according to the Bible, according to the Bible, it's not what we saying. So don't get mad at us. You know what I'm saying? Some super coon. You know what I'm saying? Up in the uh, chat room or whatever, and trying to bring out some fake scripture. We're about to bring out this scripture to cut whatever the hell you come out with. You understand me? So this is for all you New Testament, you know, uh, believers in that Christian church. They always want to say that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever. Well, let's see what he's thinking right now. You understand me? This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written. Okay, this was written in the Old Testament. Jacob have I loved. Jacob, who are blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, the most high loves. But Esau. But Esau, who is the nation of Edom today, so-called white people, have I hated. Damn. That right there. Man, he hated. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of Christians say, well, Jesus Christ is the same uh, 
yesterday, today, and forever. And even the scripture I'm paraphrasing, it says, you know, the most high, I changed not. So what changed? We just brought it out of your beloved um, New Testament. What you got? What you got? You know what I'm saying? What you got to come up against that, huh? What you going to go, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? What you going to pull? And where was that written? Let me go to the book of um, Salakia. Let me go to the book of, I think it's in Malachi 4 and 1. Slocky. No. Malachi 1 and 4, I believe that's what it is. Let me look at my precepts. But that's the thing about it, man. He he ain't down with these people like you think, man. You know what I'm saying? You watch these television shows and you get gassed up and you all in this society and you think, you know, we're all supposed to come together. It ain't like it. You understand me? It is not like it. So this is the book of Malachi. This is what I was talking about where, where it says it was written in Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. This is the Old Testament. It's the supposedly Old Testament, which there's nothing new under the sun. So how's it old? It's the book of Malachi chapter 1. We're going to start, let's start at verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Mm. To Israel. Not to everybody on the earth. This and this, these scriptures are exclusive. They are holy, which means separate for Israel. You understand me? Who are blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians today? Verse two: I have loved you, saith um, the Most High. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the, the Most High Power? It's like the most high. Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Oh man. The most high hates Esau. You see what I'm saying? Who is the so called white on the planet today? I'm just reading the scriptures. Don't, don't, don't hit me. Don't get mad at me. Read your Bible. Like I always say, read your Bible. You feel me? Take a sip. That's what's up. Let's see what else the Most High thinks about your beloved in that Christian church. Your buttermilk biscuit, um, Wonder Bread. <laughs> White Jesus and his, his people, which is a lie. Whereas Edom, Esau became the nation of Edom, saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. That's just like the um, Trump today. Well, we're, we're going to make America great again. And we're going to build up this wall and we're going to keep all, you know, the Hispanics out. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the way they talk. They think, you know what I'm saying? They're going to uh, build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build. They might not try to build. That's just like they built that Freedom Tower in New York. You know, they shall build, but I will throw down. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like a brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw down. What's good? You know what I'm saying? That's how you know these scriptures are for black people. You know what I'm saying? By black people. You know what I'm saying? They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them. Now, this is talking. Remember, we went, we'll go back up. The burden of the verse one, Malachi chapter one, verse one. The burden of the the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel. To Israel. So the audience here is to Israel. Let me go back to verse four. They shall build. Now, this is talking about Edom. But I will throw down. This is talking about the most high. And they shall call them. This is talking about Israel. The border of wickedness. What is Trump talking about? This goddamn border in this wicked ass place, man. It's talking about we going to call them Edom. The border of wickedness. And the people 
against whom the Lord, who the Most High, have indignation forever. Now, indignation, that's a word that's not necessarily used in everyday conversation or language here in, you know, Sam, uh, we use this English diction, if you will. What does that word mean? You know, I could pull it, but for time's sake, I'll just tell you, it means anger. The people whom the Most High have anger forever. Phone dropped. It cuts the Christian church talking about God loves everybody. There's some people on the earth that he has indignation, anger with forever. And who is that? That is Edom, which are so-called whites today. So when you see us at camp talking about, you know what I'm saying, uh, the most high hates the white man, the white man's the goddamn devil, we just bringing out what's in the Bible, man. What does devil mean? It means deceiver. You know what I'm saying? Who deceived the world with that image of, of Jesus? You know what I'm saying? When Revelation chapter 1 so like in verse 13, going down to 15, describes the man that we ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh in the Hebrew, as, as being a black man. See, these are the reasons why the Most High hates whites, according to the Bible. And the men of the ISUPK under Commanding General Yahada, we are the only men that is, you know what I'm saying, strong enough to tell our people who their enemy is, man. You understand me? And that's why it's so important for you to come into this truth. We, you know what I'm saying, have been equipped by Commander General Yohanna to bring out these, you know, scriptures, man, to give you the truth so you can know how to live. Because, hey, I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying, you know, in the summertime, you know, stuff start cracking off. You feel what I'm saying? And you need to be, you know, covered. You need to have protection. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's the, the scriptures, I'm paraphrasing, but it says um, wisdom, money is, wisdom is defense and money is defense. You know what I'm saying? You might be, you know what I'm saying, out there and you have a lot of money, but you know, it's not coupled with wisdom. And we have the knowledge to utilize the wisdom. That's these laws, statutes, and commandments in our holy scriptures, man. You somebody important. You chosen. You a special people to the most high. And, and we in ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal and Practical Knowledge, are the only people on planet Earth to tell you that. Everywhere else tell you you just a nigga, a goddamn spick and span, you know what I'm saying? And you a damn engine or whatever. Nah, man, you somebody special. And the thing is, we are going to get our heritage back. We are going to get our heritage back. And that's why it's so important, like I say, for you to support this truth. You know what I'm saying? We like the thumbs up. That's all good. But remember, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we we could use the financial support. You know, so the most high going to provide regardless. It's just, are you going to, you know what I'm saying, get involved and support your people? You feel what I'm saying? Go to the website, www.isupk.com. There's a link where you can use your credit card. Just swipe the credit card and, you know, say help the brothers out. You know, I'm about done with the class. You know, we're going to keep it short tonight. I want to remind everybody that this weekend, actually a couple of days from now in Detroit, Michigan, June 14th through the 16th is the Midwest Detroit Barbecue under Commandant General Yohanna, hosted by Captain LeBon, a real strong brother in this truth, you understand? And uh, if you haven't, you know what I'm saying, met the men of the ISUPK, why don't you make arrangements, or slock it, make arrangements to go up there. Bring the children, you know what I'm saying? Bring the, it's going to be a family affair. They're going to have the little bouncy things. It's going to be free food, limited food or whatever. And you can come out there and see what real brotherhood is about. Real sisterhood is about. You understand me? And if you are in, you know what I'm saying, are you stuck in a fake, you know, we got to come hard like that and just tell you. If you stuck in a fake Israelite group, you know what I'm saying, you can present yourself before 
commanding general Yahana and fall into the ranks. You see what I'm saying? Do it the right way. Become a trooper. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to serve the priests and prophets of the Most High. And then, you know what I'm saying? We can properly teach you how to teach these scriptures. And most importantly, you are within the body. See, you think you're in the body now. There's a lot of people out there that's still in Christianity that's wearing fringes. Nah. Nah. You need to get to that barbecue, man. You know what I'm saying? Present yourself before Commanding General Yohana, you know, and the generals, and, and, and learn. You know what I'm saying? Come and see what true brotherhood and sisterhood is about. You understand me? Have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, have a couple of drinks. You know what I'm saying? Be cool with it. Speaking of drink, pardon me for this intermission. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, you know what I'm saying? Real brother and sisterhood up there in Detroit, Michigan. And then also, there's a lot of other functions that's coming up in Indianapolis, Indiana, hosted by Captain Kapas. There's going to be you know what I'm saying? The Black Expo. You know what I'm saying? Where a lot of black people come into that city. You feel what I'm saying? And it, it, it's just like we got to cast our nets in this ISUPK. You know what I'm saying? Clean people up. We got to go fishing. And we invite you to that too. That's going to be in July. Um, I believe it's going to be like the 19th. I'll get further information on that. But that's another thing that uh, that's coming up where you can get real brotherhood and sisterhood. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I'll have some things posted on my Facebook a, a page. It'll be uh, my Facebook page is Hamakwabav Yasharala Hamakwabav Yasharala. You see what I'm saying? And I have some postings, some good information on that also. You see what I'm saying? So once again, to recap, we talked about that. You know what I'm saying? The Most High hates whites, according to the Bible. And I brought out some scriptures in Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. It's lucky. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13, where it talks about how um, the Most High hates Esau, who became, who was the progenitor of the nation of Edom, who are whites today. Clear and cut. I don't know how you can dispute that. Uh, and then the next thing a lot of people say is that the book's not real. But I talked about how, you know what I'm saying, these whites are going around, they're shooting up schools, they're shooting up churches, they're shooting up Waffle Houses, they're kicking black people out of Starbucks, they're shooting up country music concerts, the police are beating black men down in the street, you know what I'm saying? And they're also getting into the mindset and psyche of our women, having our women kill their own babies by the means of abortion. And you think that the Most High is supposed to love these people. Nah. Nah. You got it wrong, mate. You know what I mean? So with that said, I'm going to close out the class. I'm going to put that right there. Y'all didn't see that? We are the ISUPK started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Rule for new brother and sister. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There's another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other. Now, this is important because the thing is, when you're in the world, the thing is, is, um, you know, what I'm saying we 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 hop in the bed and, you know, what I'm saying we don't we don't even know who we hopped in the bed with. We, you know, what I'm saying that ISUPK. We use this time so a brother and sister can really get to know each other. You know what I'm saying? Because the chemistry might not be right. And that's cool. You see what I'm saying? Or it might be right. 
Do something that you, if you're, you know what I'm saying, black, Hispanic, or native Indian woman, do something that you've never done before. Take your time and get to know that brother. Let him get to know you. You know what I'm saying? You'll talk about, you know, what your expectations in that relationship is. Because, see, here's the thing. Marriage is sex. And once, you know what I'm saying, that man have sex with you, you are that man's possession. You see what I'm saying? You are that man's um, rib, and it's for life. You know what I'm saying? Unless you um, do something outlandish, and he be forced to put you away. And you know what I'm saying? You can't be complaining if that man got some other um, ribs or something like that. He might want to bring forth seed, and you know what I'm saying? You might not be able to give him a son or whatever. He let that. That's for that man's reasons. And the thing is, is this is real important. All these things need to be discussed during that six month period. And that's why we have this. And it's very beneficial for building up our nation. So let me go back. There's another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other after six months. Slocky. After this six month period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Ties, which is a commandment. Numbers chapter 18, verse 21. Malachi chapter 3, verse 8 through 10, means 10, 10th in the Hebrew. Maashara, 10% of every penny of any increase the Most High gives you, give to the teacher. Priest fund, free will offering, free will, slacking, offering for priests, not mandatory, whatsoever amount you would like. Upcoming holy convocations. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the next upcoming holy convocation is going to be in the spring. Like I said, I'm, I'm waiting to get the word on that from, uh, you know, from my command. You see what I'm saying? And with that said, Shalom.